If there's one thing I've learned about myself during my lifetime of playing video games, it's that I adore collecting things. Whether it's the trinkets that can be found lurking in the Last of Us mini cupboards, or all the coins in Mario's path, you can bet I'm going to hoover up the lot. But the one thing that draws me in more than anything else is collecting creatures. As my favorite game series, Hawk, Mon is the best example of this, but I love any title that allows me to befriend a plethora of cute and quirky little guys and build a powerful team while traveling across a fantastical land. What I wasn't expecting was to get this same catch em all satisfaction from Iuden Chronicle, 100 heroes and its many recruitable human and human-like companions. Despite not having played any of the Swicketing games, the classic series created by the late 100 Heroes director Yoshitaka Murayama, the Kickstarter-funded JRPG already had me intrigued. Its pleasing 2.5D visual style, which is reminiscent of Square Enix's gorgeous Octopath Traveler games, and its promise of a modern take on a classic JRPG experience were already enough for me to be sold on it. However, its enormous cast of characters has quickly proven to be the main factor keeping me coming back for more. As the game's name suggests, there are over 100 characters with unique battle styles scattered across the far reaches of the map, just waiting to be added to your roster. It's hard not to feel like I'm filling out some sort of Pokédex of people, and dear reader, I love it. Of course, 100 Heroes doesn't have you running around lobbing balls at people's heads to befriend them. Some, like the adorable tree folk boy Calather, who's essentially a sentient, walking tree, will automatically join you as you progress through the story, while others, like the hilariously aggressive healer, Francesca, will be happy to follow you as soon as you find and talk to them for the first time. It makes exploring new locations on the map a constant thrill, as you never know who you're going to meet, and the feeling of spotting an interesting-looking individual waiting to be recruited is unmatched. Rediscovering the brilliant and brutal 22-year-old RPG that charges a ridiculous 1,000 in-game coins just to save your game not everyone can be recruited in such a straightforward manner, however, which is where things get extra interesting. I've been tasked with hunting down precious items in order to convince certain folks to join me. It wouldn't be a good RPG adventure without a fetch quest or two. After all, slaying certain enemies, and even defeating someone in a card battle minigame to earn their respect. I'm not going to lie, the latter took me a couple of attempts before I finally mastered it, but it's all worth it now that I have a card game nerd in my ranks. Swapping out my party of six with fresh faces and new moves every now and then really helps keep the JRPG's battles interesting that's another thing that makes hunting down every single one of the optional characters so damn enticing. They don't necessarily all fight alongside you in battle, some will help you develop your own town, too. Without getting into story spoilers, you're eventually given the chance to upgrade a town with new facilities, shops, and even mini-games by using resources gathered around the land during your adventure. However, facilities need people to run them, meaning that you need to find specific characters in order to go ahead with certain upgrades. The aforementioned card game nerd, Glenn, is one of these people. In fact, he made a point of telling protagonist Nawa not to be silly when asked if he could use his cards to fight in real battles. Although it's a pity he's not going to launch into the fray Yu-Gi-Oh! 100 Heroes is far from over, even if I've already lost track of the exact number of people I've recruited into my roster. Swapping out my party of six with fresh faces and new moves every now and then really helps keep the JRPG's battles interesting, even if I've admittedly been tempted to keep a solid party like I would in Pokemon, only with more Sailor Moon-style magical girls. However, 15 hours into the adventure, I still frankly have no idea what my main team will end up looking like since I keep encountering new favorites I feel compelled to cram in there somehow. Either way, much like Pokemon, you can bet I won't rest until I've grabbed each and every one of them, filling out the Herodex that exists only in my mind. If you're on the lookout for more games like Iuden Chronicle, 100 Heroes, be sure to check out our picks for the best JRPGs. I'm one of GamesRadar Plus S news writers, who works alongside the rest of the news team to deliver cool gaming stories that we love. After spending more hours than I can count filling the University of Sheffield's student newspaper with Pokemon and indie game content, and picking up a degree in journalism studies, I started my career at Gaming Bible where I worked as a journalist for over a year and a half. I then became TechRadar Gaming's news writer, where I sourced stories and wrote about all sorts of intriguing topics. In my spare time, 
you're sure to find me on my Nintendo Switch or PS5 playing through story-driven RPGs like Xenoblade Chronicles and Persona 5 Royal, nuzlocking old Pokemon games, or going for a victory royale in Fortnite. Sandland Review Feels inferior to what Akira Toriyama constructed years ago, Persona Dev's new JPRG has got everyone hyped about its menus. This is why you invest in UI Baldur's Gate 3 publishing lead explains Larian's player-first approach to marketing the RPG. The industry's best agencies came up with nothing good Games Radar Plus is part of Future PLC, an international media group and leading digital publisher. Visit our corporate site. C. Future Publishing Limited Quay House, The Umbori, Bath BA 11 UA. All rights reserved. England and Wales Company Registration Number 200-8885.